I'm so happy to hear that Taylor has found Shongile. I've been wondering about her while I've been here, and just wondering about how she's doing. We've got some arch enemies of the leopards out here, and, well, pretty much across Africa. We've actually got quite a few different animals around and about. We'll start off with our olive baboons just because they are, or were, sitting so nicely out in the open for us. There's a couple of tiny, tiny babies around, so I'll keep my eyes peeled. At the moment, they're foraging in the grass, which makes them... <laughs> Bless you! I know it's very dusty out here, isn't it? <laughs> Whew, would you like a tissue? We've got some, to some toilet paper in the car if you need. Obviously not too bothered and maybe inviting him towards the car is a terrible idea. So olive baboons that are just that much fluffier than the chakmas that we see in the Sabi sand. And I haven't actually seen much of them. They live around the mountain where our camp is situated, but I haven't really spent much time with them. I just see them dashing past every now and again. And then, of course, off to the right, one of the more common antelope species, the dopey, that I feel has the best name of any antelope ever. Dopey. Basically the East African equivalent of a sesame. And looks kind of like it was put together by the spare parts of all the other animals once. Kind of the leftovers when it was created. It's got the body of a hartebeest and the legs of a wildebeest and the face of a goat. If you ever get a close-up view of them. A dopey. And then, just to set the scene, back a little bit further in towards the river and the waterbuck, the defaso waterbuck that looks so different to ours. No white rings around their bottoms, just plain white bottoms and a very dark grey colour. They're pretty, they're so pretty. All right, it sounds as though we need to jump all the way back to Juma because Shungile is up and moving.